here we are going to discuss about elastic load balancer elb we will be discussing uh, introduction what is load balancer then what are the different strategy then we will be uh, looking at uh, application load balancer and networking load balancer first we need to understand what is load balancer for that uh, uh, we have created one diagram uh, server 1 server 2 server 3 on all these server our apache web server is running and then we have got one uh, uh, load balancer in front of those and uh, uh, we are assuming that we have got three clients here now suppose uh, on web server is able to currently handle 1000 request now suppose our uh, site or application has gone uh, uh, viral now what will be that mean uh, now uh, uh, 5000 requests are there so what is happening here only it is uh, able to handle uh, currently handling 1000 requests so now we want a certain software so that can handle or certain uh, application or certain device which can distribute the load that mean if individual server is not able to handle uh, request beyond certain uh, scale then we need to add some device now what will happen now whatever the request suppose 5000 requests are there so what it is going to do it is going to distribute the request there on server 1 server 2 server 3 so the purpose of load balancer is to balance the traffic that mean if a number of connections or uh, go on increasing what we, we are going to do we are going to attach uh, other servers in our case uh, uh, when we will be doing the practical uh, uh, on server one we will be creating different page on server two different page server three different page uh, in reality uh, all these servers will be having uh, uh, you can say uh, most of the time same page but for to for showing you that uh, how the uh, load venture actually works uh, we will be creating different way but before going to that we need to understand what are the different strategies uh, that can be used in load balancing so the uh, first uh, strategy that is the most common that is a round robin load balancer strategy uh, first let us understand this lab in our case uh, um, uh, just we are showing uh, 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 this setup in local lab but uh, in uh, uh, that uh, when we will be giving you the demo we will be using here ec2 instances now here uh, we are taking that we have got one server which is having the address 172.24.0.11 apache web server is there and this is our server one then we have got 172.24.0.21 again apache server is there 31 apache server is there and now uh, here we are assuming that uh, we have got one client whose address is 172.24.0.51 now please remember when we talk about load balancer load balancer will be having uh, one uh, virtual ip because we cannot uh, tell the clients that uh, please go to this system 11 or 21 or uh, 31 we have to provide the client single ip address or dns address so here we are uh, assuming that our load balancer is having one virtual ip address 172.24.0.51 uh, 251 now what will happen in load balancer strategy now the client when the client is going to send the request the client will send the request to this system load balancer 172.24.0.251 now the first request will go to this system now when we are going to send the second request it will go to the second server if you are going to send the third request it is going to go to the uh, your server 3 that is round robin load balancer strategy it is very simple to implement now we have got another load balancing strategy random load balancing strategy again the lab setup is same now in this what happens so uh, when again when uh, the client is sending the request on 172.24.0.254 the first request can go to the server 1 
second request can go to the uh, third server and then third request again can go to the uh, your third server and the fourth request can go to the that mean randomly it is not fixed pointer and uh, it uh, the load might not be equal but in the case here uh, approximately if we are going to send the 30 request 10 will be here 10 will be here 10 will be here but here it is not certain that means randomly again a very simple strategy then we have got a server connection load balancer strategy uh, in this what happens so uh, in this load balancer will keep track of already how many connection are being handled by this server server one uh, suppose server one he is currently handling 10 connections uh, is having 10 connection uh, 21 this server 2 15 uh, this is handling 20 so currently so many clients are connected so it will note down what is the load what is the connections how many connection 10 15 20 now what will happen now when the request will next request we are calling this as request one it will go to the least connected that mean it is 10 so it is going to go there now it will become uh, 11 what is the benefit of this because in all other strategies it will not uh, keeping in mind the uh, load which is having on the server that mean if it is already uh, suppose uh, the, the load is 50 percent 30 percent 20 percent again it is what it is going to so again it is going to send the request one one uh, one here that we not uh, proper utilization of the uh, resources because in real, uh, real life uh, this server could be of different configuration different configuration different configuration so uh, these both uh, strategies they do not take into account the uh, uh, load or these type of things into consideration but when we are talking about server connection it is taking that into mind then we have got another uh, strategy available server load uh, load balancer strategy that was your server connections that means number of connection now here it is going to be what is the load on cpu so here we are assuming that the current load uh, on this server is server 135 here it is 25 here is 15 so load balancer will keep note of these load server 135 server 2 25 server 3 55 now when the next request will come it will uh, send the request to that server which is on which the load is very less so that means it is going to send it uh, on this system so that is now there is one another uh, strategy path based routing now sometimes what happen uh, sometimes a client is sending the request in this way 172.24.254 and sometimes uh, different implementation might be there like uh, we want to assess this uh, 172.24.254 slash demo or sometimes it could be uh, slash English slash French or slash Hindi so what we want when we are typing 172.24.0.254 the request should go to these two servers and uh, when we are typing this uh, 172.24.254 slash demo the request should go to the this server so for this uh, we have to use path based routing so when we are going to discuss uh, uh, ALB load balancer, application load balancer, basically that supports this path based routing. So uh, plus uh, that stores uh, random type also. So now uh, here when we have to implement this, what have we have to do? We have to create two target group. So we will keep uh, in first target group these two servers and in second target group we are going to keep uh, this uh, third server. Now what will happen here it will maintain one uh, uh, pathway routing that means if the request is uh, on 172.24.0.254 it will send to the target group 1 that means on this and this system 
and if we are going to say HTTP uh, this slash demo it is going to send to the target group slash demo it is going to send on the server so in our case uh, for practical implementation what we are going to do instead uh, uh, we will be using instead of physical server we will be using uh, three e ec2 machines uh, on which uh, we are going to implement apache web server uh, but uh, when we will be implementing uh, we will be uh, creating uh, here different page different page different page and we will be using one client only uh, for uh, uh, making the request in real life uh, the clients could be thousands of clients uh, even millions of clients so uh, uh, that is the advantage of load balancer that mean it uh, can um, uh, handle uh, more number of request plus uh, 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 you can handle any type of traffic you can perform routing on the base of uh, path also different strategies also so that is now first uh, our, of our task will be now creating three uh, ec2 instances and implementing web server there and then test whether those web server are working properly or not then we will be discussing uh, giving the demo of application load balancer uh, and then uh, uh, network load balancer 